Like everyone else watching the National League Championship Series, Kyle Hendricks has seen Cubs hitters flailing away without much success against Dodgers pitchers. Unlike everyone else, Hendricks will be on the mound for the Cubs in Game 3 on Tuesday night at Wrigley Field trying to ignore the fact his teammates batted a combined .1177 for 60 in the first two games. It's just another thing that's an extraneous factor, Hendricks said Monday at Wrigley Field. At the end of the day, you have to focus on what you can control. For me, that's just making good pitches. I've got the utmost faith in our guys that they're going to swing the bat well. Still, Hendrick said he alters his mindset knowing runs might be hard to come by if the Cubs' bats remain silent. You just can't give in, no matter what, Hendrick said. You'd almost rather walk a guy than give in on a 31 count, something like that. But you have to have a careful mindset because one pitch could be the difference in the game. Despite the 20 deficit to the Dodgers, Hendricks wouldn't call Game 3 a must-win. Our team doesn't really approach games like that, he said. For us, this is just Game 170. Yeah, we're down 20. Obviously, we know we need to get wins at this point, but approaching it as a must-win is a little extreme. Who's in both managers are considering tweaks to their lineups for Game 3. There might be a couple changes, Dave Roberts said before the Dodgers boarded their plane to Chicago. But with the guys that we have on the position players side on the roster, I feel very comfortable. I'm sure we're going to come up with something pretty good. Cubs manager Joe Madden is also contemplating some changes, saying, I'm looking at maybe one or two little nuance kind of things. I have a ton of faith and trust in our guys, but if there is something we could do maybe to tweak it a little bit, we may try to do that. Darvish's deal Dodgers Game 3 starter U Darvish has made one career start at Wrigley Field, suffering the loss on July 16, 2016, while pitching for the Rangers. The right-hander gave up two runs, two hits and four whacks with nine strikeouts and four 13 innings during the Cubs' 31 win that day. The last time I pitched there at Wrigley, it was still like an uncertainty about coming off the Tommy John surgery so it was really hard for me to focus on facing the hitters, Darvish, who missed the entire 2015 season, said Monday. Now that I feel pretty confident with all my physical stuff and I'm having a different approach to the hitters, I'm pretty confident that I can pitch better this time. Skuck at ChicagoTribune.com, Twitter at ChrisKick.